Hey everybody, welcome to Hockey Skate Down. Before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers. If you want to join our hockey team, it's free. Click subscribe, hit the notification bell to all. Thank you all so much, and let's get started. So the Devils announced they've signed two players to PTOs, which are professional tryouts. They signed forward Zach Senishin and defenseman Thomas Hickey. So I'll talk about them in this video, and also talk about the rookie camp roster that was released. You know, there's a lot of big names on their roster that a lot of Devils fans are looking forward to seeing. It's been a long break since the last season. We've had a really good uh, offseason with uh, Tom Fitzgerald making some really good moves and uh, bolstering this lineup heading into the uh, next season, which starts relatively soon. But I know that a lot of Devils fans want to see this rookie camp, and I, I do as well. I want to see what these young players and prospects have to show with the long summer of preparing for this. So um, it's coming up. I'm eagerly anticipating it. So I'll talk about some names I'm looking forward to seeing off that roster that was announced today. So please stay with me throughout. So the news today, Zach Senishin was announced that he signed a PTO with New Jersey Devils. Uh, Zach Senishin is 25 years old. He's a right wing, 6'1", 192 pounds. He's a 2015 first round draft pick, 15th overall of the Boston Bruins. Um, in this past year, 2021-2022, he split time between the Ottawa Senators, the Belleville Senators, and the Providence Bruins. Uh, with the Senators, in the NHL, he played in two games, uh, zero goals, zero assists, zero points. With the Belleville Senators in the AHL, 16 games played, zero goals, three assists, three points. And with the Providence Bruins, I know this is what a lot of Devils fans are looking at because th this year was pretty impressive. Um, he played in 51 games, 19 goals, 12 assists for 31 points. So um, the year before that, in 2020, 2021, he played for the Br Providence Bruins in the AHL. 18 games played, 7 goals, 6 assists, 13 points. So, you know, the offense is there if he can put it together. Um... You know, I think Zach Senishin, it's going to be really hard for him to crack the Devils lineup. Um, but I think he'll be a piece that can sign a two-way two -way deal uh, for the year. And maybe play, bounce back and forth between the Utica Comets and the Devils if need be, if injuries occur. Um, you know, we saw what happened last year with a lot of injuries, needed call-ups. So, um, you never know. But uh, Senishin is a big winger. He has a scoring touch. But, um, you know, with the Boston Bruins, he really couldn't crack that lineup. So, you know, with, with the Devils, there is opportunity to do so. But I think that's more of a position where the Devils filled uh, filled it with signing Pilat and trading for Hala. And they have some young prospects in their pipeline that are closer to making it than I think than Senishin would. So my guess is he signs a two-way and plays with the Utica Comets. And, you know, that pro provides more co competition for these younger players who are looking to crack that roster. Maybe it's a little more of a push to try to make them play a little bit harder, seeing that they have another player to beat out for a position. So... Stay tuned, but I think he signs a two-way and plays with um, the Utica Comets if he has a good uh, camp. Uh, Thomas Hickey. Thomas Hickey was signed to a PTO as well. Uh, he's a left shot, left defenseman, six foot, 183 pounds, 33 years old. He's a 2007 first round, fourth overall pick of the LA Kings. Uh, he's coming off of a um, four-year deal worth $10 million, $2.5 million AAV that he signed with Lou Lamarillo and the Islanders. Um, looking at his stats... He split time in 2021-2022 with the Ontario Reign, the Bridgeport Islanders, and the New York Islanders. So bouncing back and forth between the AHL and the NHL. With the Ontario Reign, 15 games played, 2 goals, 4 assists, 6 points. With the Bridgeport Islanders, 29 games played, 4 goals, 8 assists, 12 points. And with the New York Islanders in the NHL, 2 games played, 0 goals, 0 assists, 2 points. And the year before that, uh, played with the 2020 2021 played with the New York Islanders uh, five games played zero goals two assists two points So for his career 456 games played 22 goals 95 assists for 117 points So again with Thomas Hickey same thing I think the Devils have a good top six and I think they've had they have seven eight defensemen who you know can come up and play when need be I think Thomas Hickey is a good addition because you always want to have a veteran around in case you know you have a lot of injuries that occur, and you need a call-up that has NHL experience to come into the lineup. So, um, you know, same thing with Zenishin. I think Hickey, if he has a good camp, signs a two-way deal, bounces back and forth between Utica and New Jersey. If, if that's the case, if injuries occur, he gets called up. Um, you know, again, this is more competition for players like, uh, you know, Kevin Ball or, or Hoyt Took. Um, you know, players at Walsh and, you know, all those players who are looking to crack the Devils lineup and, um, you know, just pushing them a little bit along as well. But also playing with the Utica Comets, also providing some veteran leadership of almost 500 uh, games in the NHL to some young players down there and helping them grow. So I like this. 
I like this signing. Hopefully it helps them, their case with the Utica Comets. And maybe if the Devils have injuries, he gets called up. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully both players can have a good camp and they get signed. So we'll see what happens relatively soon. So going over to the uh, rookie camp roster. A lot of big names were mentioned on that roster. Most notably that I'm looking forward to. Uh, Simon Nemish, uh, Riley Walsh, Alexander Holtz, Nolan Foote, uh, Brian Hallinan, uh, Chase Stillman, Nico Dawes, Kevin Ball, Graham Clark, and Akira Schmid. So these are the names that I'm looking forward to. I want to see what Nemish has to offer. Uh, I want to see how Walsh has stepped up his development. Alexander Holtz, they have said that he has gained some muscle, uh, gained some strength, and looks more confident. So I'm curious to see what happens with him. Does he crack the NHL roster this year to start, or does he start off in Utica and have a really impressive year and get called up later? So, um, you know, look at him too. Um, you know, Nolan Foote is another interesting case. You know, he came over with the, uh, with the, with the Coleman trade. And, um, you know, looking at this, I hope he's a forward that can crack the lineup. But, you know, the odds in favor... You don't know who's going to take the, those open spots. You don't know between uh, Zetterlin, between, um, you know, Holtz, between Boquist, between Thompson, between Tatar and Johnson. Who's going to take those those uh, spots in those bottom two lines? So um, it's going to be interesting to see. I'm really looking forward to preseason. I, I miss hockey so much and, uh, you know, miss watching the Devils play. So this rookie camp is going to help because it's, it's really soon. But, you know, seeing preseason and all that, I'm curious to see. Who's going to crack the Devils lineup opening night and who has a solid preseason? So comment below what you think about this. What do you think about the two PTO signings? What do you think about the rookie camp roster? Who are you looking forward to seeing? Comment below and let me know. And thank you all for watching. I really appreciate your time. Smash that like button if you haven't done so and subscribe to Hockey Skate Down. It's free. And join our hockey team. Thank you all so much. Have a great rest of the day. Have a great night. Take it easy. Stay safe.